All right, everyone. Welcome back to Ferris Fishing. I would say on today's adventure, but really it's on today's video, which ain't gonna be that long. It's just an unboxing of the Kratos Titan, which was just released not too long ago. I purchased it the night that it was released. Um, it's the biggest magnet so far. It's 3,800 pound pole force. Uh, the last one that I had was a Magnetar Barbarian, and that was 3,520 pound pull force. Uh, that actually cost a little bit more than this one did. Um, but this this was just the magnet, so and the casing that goes around with the protective protection. But let's get to opening this thing up. I'm super excited. Also, welcome to the backyard over here. I have a couple of the bikes that I pulled out of the Grand River. Have yet to um, junk those out, uh, bring them to the scrapyard. They've just been hanging out there. Here we go. I have been waiting for this. Oh man, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> uh, it's always nice too. They always have like a handwritten thank you for your purchase. Um, and then you always get uh, some uh, couple of stickers too, the Kratos stickers, which is cool. Um, yeah, it did. Uh, it cost me. Well, let's go over the price. Uh, it was on sale for one ninety nine ninety nine, um, and I ended up getting a promo code, and it was only one hundred seventy six dollars just for the magnet and the uh, protective housing so not too bad compared to the barbarian and it's 3800 pounds instead of 35 this is also a 360 fishing magnet too so it's magnetic 360 degrees all the way around which i just i love those once you get experience with one of those you don't really want to go back i do have the 1400 clamp magnet from kratos as well that i got not too long ago and if you've seen my videos, that, that works pretty good too. So, let's see what we got here. I also have some uh, old rusty bits here that uh, are common in the river that I've gotten. And we're going to test it out and see how well that works. Um, yeah, they always come with a keychain too. So, that's the second keychain that I've gotten. Um, um, there we go. There, whoop. Okay, there's some metal underneath this plastic table. <laughs> so I can tell you right off the bat, it is smaller than the Barbarian, which is interesting. Because the Barbarian, this is more like the size of Magnetar Beast, I would say. But I think it's heavier than the Magnetar Barbarian. I feel like it is. Um, there it is. It already comes with the eyeball uh, in there. You just gotta basically, I'm gonna put some uh, heavy duty glue um, right here all around there so it doesn't go nowhere. Because I have lost magnets due to not putting lock nut uh, lock um, thread thread lock thread lock. Uh, I have lost magnets to that because it's untwisted itself and then when I tossed it, it the rope is super light and I go ah oh, dang it so now I, I make sure to put thread lock on or I did use a different thing that's kind of like a cement um, but yeah so here it is there it is it says right there Kratos 3800 Titan it's pretty heavy Pretty, that's all right. Let's see how close we can get to it with this. See, by now I feel like the Magnetar Barbarian would already be pulling this in from the side. Of course, unfortunately, I lost mine, so I can't compare it. <laughs> Even though you know it's going to happen, it always gets you. It doesn't feel as strong of a force as I was expecting maybe on the bottom oh yeah 
So the exposed bottom, it definitely does. And of course, with every shield that goes around these, it does damper the um, magnetic effect that it has. <laughs> so there you go. Look at that. Alright, I could do the whole penny test, but that's no fun trying to get pennies off of this. Uh, your common railroad spike. I got over 200 of them. Um, I've had plenty more. So let's see what it does. Watch the fingers. There we go. Comes off pretty good. Yeah, you gotta do. You gotta have some force. You know, if you're looking to get one of these, I would definitely recommend making sure that you can lift super heavy stuff. That you can pull this off of things. Because if you just physically can't, because some people just can't, they want this, but they physically cannot pull this off. Don't do it. Just stick with your lighter ones. So yeah. Oh, look at that. Picked it up from over here. That's a good, probably, eight inches away. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. You can see it already moving a little bit. There we go. I don't even know what this is. I was thinking maybe it was a piece of a gun or something. Who knows? So yeah, there we go, guys. There it is. Now I just gotta get rope for it. So, there we go, guys. Yep, I like it already. So we're gonna take it out and test it. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, but I will do that tomorrow. So there'll be a video on that. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. I gotta get the thread lock stuff on there. Have that set overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing some Ferris fishing. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you can, if you want to. Please, it does help big time. I'm hoping eventually to get to enough subscribers to start getting sponsored by these guys where I can start doing free giveaways. So yeah. Um, anyway, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed and yeah have fun magnet fishing see you guys in the next video or adventure <laughs>